The high cost of living has sparked off protests and debates across the country, with Nigerians calling on the federal government to do something fast about the upward trajectory of the prices of goods and services as well as food items. <laughs> One of the main suggestions is one made by labor unions for an increase in minimum wage to increase the purchasing power of workers. While an increase in salaries of workers in itself may not be out of place going by the current economic situation, the federal government has deemed the one million naira being proposed by the Nigerian Labor Congress as unrealistic, setting off even more debate on the feasibility of such a significant wage hike. In the meantime, low-income earners struggle to afford basic necessities with the cost of food rising astronomically in the past year and no signs of abating as 2024 drags on to complete only its second month. We visit Creek Road Market within the Potokot Metropolis to experience the challenges faced by residents. So what did you get from your calculation? Okay, from the calculation, all this one excluded only these few items on top. 30,015 naira. 30,015 naira? Yes. Which is 50 naira above the minimum wage. Here we're talking about a paint bucket of beans, a paint bucket of rice, yes. just about three sachets of um, granite oil, and then tin tomatoes, two packs of spaghetti, and just this few items, and then some tin tomatoes. And you have 30,015 50 naira. Yes. Already 50 naira above the minimum wage. Some traders highlight the significant price increases compared to the previous years. If you had to buy all these things, only this one cost 35,000 and it's a half bag of rice. All this one sum together, they are 38,000 naira. So if you should calculate 73,000 in total, all these things come out 73,000 naira. So if somebody wants to shop for his family with 30,000 naira, yeah. They will not be able to afford these whole things that are here. They cannot afford this thing. They can afford the only thing that can last for seven days. Broker cattle now is 74,000 naira. We used to buy it 30,000, 28,000. What about the high switch? There is no way to buy it again. We used to buy it 14,000. Now it's 45,000. Now they are telling, telling us again 52,000 naira. How are we going to sell it? Many state governments are weary of these suggestions, oftentimes saying they cannot afford to pay. Civil servants at the River State Secretariat believe a gradual increase will solve some of these issues. The idea minimum wage should be 200,000 naira. Looking at the economic hardship that is ravaging Nigerians, so 30,000 naira can no longer work. It's not about the money size or the bigger we mentioned it, it's all about the economy. The government should go back to farming, encourage farmers, and let the farmers have more products in the market. Even though we have 50,000 as a minimum, you can survive. Chairman of the Nigeria Labour Congress in River State, Alex Agwomo, is adamant about the demand for one million naira minimum wage, citing the government's failure to honor previous agreements with labour. The rate, the price of goods, is soaring. That labour may not have no, may have no choice that to propose one million for minimum wage. You have no children propose one million. And it's very obvious because if the price of goods, price of food continue to increase, then what will be the determining factor of a minimum wage? As the debate over minimum wage continues, the plight of low income earners persists, underscoring the urgency for decisive action to alleviate their sufferings amidst the economic downturn that is also affecting even the average income earners. Deborah Abalama, Channels Television News.